this question. So this question is basically asking us to find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So again, in identifying the vertical asymptotes, basically what we want to do is find uh, when our denominator is equal to zero. However, remember, be very careful because our um, discontinuities could be holes or they could be asymptotes, right? They could be one or the other or both. So we need to make sure that uh, we can't simplify this uh, equation or this function any further, which we cannot factor it. So therefore, I'm just going to set my vertical asymptote uh, equal to 0. So I'll just have 3 minus x equal to 0. And I'll just add an x over here. So I could say 3 equals x or x equals 3. So my vertical asymptote is at the value of x equals 3. Um, to identify the horizontal asymptote, we need to look at the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. Now what we notice is um, denominator is not in descending form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this in descending form. That looks ugly. Because remember, you always want to have the highest power first and then going down in descending order. So what we can identify is that the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator are both 1. If you guys remember from the notes that I had you guys write down last class period, when the degrees are exactly the same, the horizontal asymptote is just the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, which we can see is also 1 and negative 1. So therefore, my horizontal asymptote is y equals 1 over negative 1, which is just equal to y equals negative 1. And that's it. Is there another question that you?